Welcome everyone to a new Mobile Legends lane matchup video. Today we are going to look at the Glue vs Uranus matchup. Many people of you are aware that Glue is currently one of the most picked and banned hero on the XP lane right now because of his amazing laning skills and teamfight potential to pick off the enemies, junglers or mages or any squishy heroes. Whenever he walks into his first skill, the splash area, the cooldown gets reset, which makes Glue annoying to deal with against many side laners. However, Uranus is a good answer to that specific matchup, as he can sustain all the damage received from Glue with ease, with a decent wave clear and a good 101 pressure on Glue, especially in the early game. He can also out-rotate Glue, as you can see here, if Glue pay plays passively on his lane and doesn't try to contest Uranus. But obviously you need to stay cautious on the side of Uranus as you aren't that tanky yet in the early game and can easily get bursted down from burst damage based enemies, heroes such as mages or most junglers. One key factor if you want to try this matchup from the perspective of Uranus is to know your own limits, what amount of damage from the tower you can confidently tank and when you have to back off. It is also important to note that depending on your emblem and build, you will either run into mana problems or tankiness problems for the first few minutes. I decided to go for the easier emblem and build on Uranus as with this setup you can't do much wrong and practice this matchup on your own. You need the knowledge about your limits in the early game as this build and setup is one of the most squishiest for the start of the game. Once you reach your first item and a certain level, you're basically just trading blows with glue. You're both unable to kill each other if you don't misplay your skills and abilities. However, you have the advantage with the wave clear as you can keep out rotating the glue as he takes more time to kill the minions or needs to sacrifice them to rotate at the same speed as you. Either way, that means you can participate in more team fights and have a higher mobility than glue or have simply more gold than him which can reflect later on into important team fights if you can zone multiple en people with Uranus while Glue is busy getting a pick off. In this gameplay footage you see what happens if both heroes decide to go all out in the early game. Uranus wants to get as many passive stacks as possible on Glue to maximize his damage output while trying to dodge his first skills and other attacks, while Glue tries to hit as many first skills as possible since they reset after every time he hits them and walks up to them and tries to deal more damage on Uranus than Uranus on him. You shouldn't go into that matchup from either side thinking you can easily smash this. You have to respect the opposite hero's potential and back off if the received damage exceeds what you can sustain as you can see here in this footage. All in all we can conclude that from the perspective of Uranus you need to know your own limits on how much you can tank damage from the enemies and from the enemies towers. Secondly your comfortable setup as simply copying one you cannot handle or does not suit your playstyle won't help you improve on the sideline. Thirdly stack the passive as much as possible while trying to evade the damage from glue. And lastly Respect the enemy series potential. You have to keep the current gold situation and level situation always in mind before thinking on engaging him in an all out fight. Now let's move on and view this matchup from the perspective of Glue. Honestly, it wasn't that easy for me to find footage from the perspective of Glue vs Uranus, as most teams either ban Glue or first pick him themselves when they get a chance on him. Or simply don't think about Uranus uh, when he's being picked. But in this footage I got severely punished for my lack of enough of enough mechanical practice with Glue with this good player. So keep me as a slack there in that department as I just started playing Glue two weeks ago. Here you can already see Uranus immediately rotating to a blue buff as I was still busy clearing the minions as to not fall behind in gold. What you really want to avoid as Lu is falling behind too far as you need your items as soon as possible or else you're simply dead weight for your team later on in team fights because you're just getting bursted. However, not at all cost. Obviously, as you need as you can see, that they forced me to take unfavorable decisions after another. Either lose the minions and recall to base and survive and give the enemy side laner even more gold up on my tower as he was pushing it constantly whenever I wasn't there or risk dying by clearing the minion waves as much as possible while trying to dodge all skills and survive all possible ganks from the enemy team. 
as you can see, it was a really tough match for, uh, for, uh, for, my, for my side. This wasn't the prettiest display of skills from the side of Glue, as I apologize for this. Lance punished me hard in the early game, but this wasn't my only problem. Since I went for this tank emblem combined with this build, I struggled also a lot with mana and I had to be really resourceful with my skills. I went for the tank emblem as to have more sustain in the early game as the passive of the consecutive blast uh, from the tank emblem gave me at least some sort of damage regardless on whether it was a good or a bad match. But as you can see this plan backfired a lot as I was forced to use too many skills in a too short period of time and even had to recall at some point which was disastrous in another moment not this one. Because I lost my life in this match already twice, I fell half behind hard in gold, and even when I tried to trade with Uranus, he simply ignored me and just went straight for my tower. What you try to avoid is letting the enemy minions into the tower range. Just keep them barely outside, as to not let the enemy Uranus push it for free. This is an important detail, as in many be matches between tanky sidelaners, at least one of them can ignore the damage received at some point and just push the tower at hand. Which you'd want to try to avoid obviously if you are the side laner who is behind. All in all we can conclude that from the perspective of Glue it is important for you to not fall behind too far in gold as this will heavily impact your gameplay for the rest of the game. Secondly, don't let the minions enter your tower as Uranus can easily sustain your damage and mostly ignore you while he's pushing the tower. Thirdly, you and Uranus have different objectives in this game. Your objective as Glue is to get important pickoffs in teamfights and get solo kills and squishy heroes in those teamfights, or distract their damage dealers. While Urin is simply wants to zone and wants to attack, get attackers to distract as many enemies as possible. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial video, as it was really not easy to get the video material for this based from ranked games and 5 cubes actually good and decent teams in Europe. Please like and share this video and hit the subscribe button as to not miss any future ML videos. See you next time.